Okay, so we're uh, we're here at the Geneva Motor Show. We've got uh, Chris McKinnon with me. Hi, Chris. Hi there, Steve. Uh, you're going to walk us through the Icon system. So we're uh, imagining we're in a car that's perhaps not quite as curved as the concept there, so the passenger could actually see the screen. But you've got a bit of a sort of a demo thing on your iPad here. Um, so can you take us through uh, Icon and what it'll mean? Yeah, I mean, this film will be on the media site, and yep. it will also be, it's already on YouTube as well. Okay. So anyone that... Uh, that might be the one that we've seen, yeah. Can go, can, can go check it out. So, yep. basically what we have uh, with Icon is uh, the next generation of infotainment systems, which will allow the customer to continuously update the vehicle with new software and new features. Yep. So starting off with the uh, the home screen, hope you can see it for the reflections here. Yep. Uh, basically, the next generation of vehicles will have a full color screen with a glass surface. Right. Pretty much as what you see here. Yep. Um, it will be a capacitive screen. Yep. Uh, with excellent resolution, much yep. as what you have on a on a, on a smartphone. Yep. Uh, and what we have here is uh, you have some shortcuts down here, uh, phone navigation. Uh, home screen can be personalized. You yep. chose to have a watch here, but each customer can personalize it. Uh, up here you have uh, vehicle settings, so you can yep. set the uh, climate system, you can also go into the vehicle settings. Right. So it's not only connecting the vehicle to the web, it's also all new HMI. Yeah. And we're trying to reduce the, the, the button set as much as possible. Right. And give Jason Castrota as much freedom as possible to design a cockpit. Yeah. So it's both, the two really, two projects, new HMI and new connectivity, new infotainment. It's really going to be sort of a command and control center for the entire car, isn't it? For the it? entire it's, car, yeah. exactly. So, as you can see here, you can flip the screen same as you can on a smartphone. We also have what we call an icon store. So let's go in and have a look at the icon store. The icon store consists of a number of applications, basically. And my yep. team is now working on which applications we should have and who we should partner with. Yep. Uh, we hope to have at least 15 or 20 applications that start a production yep. for, for the next-gen cars. Okay. And then we'll see how many we end up with. But we want to have good applications that really add value. Yep. Not thousands, but we want to really have good ones that they really add value to the customer experience. Okay, and so they'll be downloadable inside the car. Inside so, the car. Yeah, because I don't even own a smartphone, so I don't even... I don't, I'm unfamiliar with all this sort of stuff, and I know there's going to be other people like me with questions about, you know, how this, how the mechanics of this actually works. So it'll be downloadable within the car from a particular set of... Um, applications so exactly which you find in, in the icon store and it's Android based yep and you can also upgrade update the Android software right continuously so right. and that allows great flexibility so for example if you download navigation TomTom Tom navigation for example yep the maps are always updated you don't need any DVDs anymore and it's right yeah so that replaces the need for a nav system in the yeah car. <coughs> and we can cover more markets. Uh, currently we have issues with Eastern Europe uh, yeah. or with certain markets in Asia. Now the world's your oyster basically. We can we can cover the whole world right. uh, in terms of maps. So, And we're looking to, to see what we can do, for example, uh, with Google Maps, what Audi have done. That's really something really interesting that we're looking yeah. at to see if, if we can do something similar. Yeah, okay. So if you're moving in here, uh, you can obviously purchase apps. So here you can purchase this application. You have your own account. Same as you have uh, at the App Store, uh, Apple App Store. Here you have Mr. Android. Yeah. Uh, and here you have a number of applications. And this is really a new business area for us. So we're yeah. creating a special team to work with partnering up with these people. Because if we want to have Facebook, for example, we need to talk to Facebook and say, we'd like to have your application in our vehicles. Yeah. And then there's a business deal that we do with these providers. Or if, or if it's Twitter or Flickr, yeah. we need to talk to these people. So that, that leads us to another concern that some people had in, in comments on the website, and that was the safety aspect of, you know, I mean, will this be, will, will that be able to be used by the driver while they're driving? There will be certain lockout protocols, and, and right. what we're doing right now is testing, beta testing cars up in Trollhättan. Yeah. We have a small fleet of vehicles with Icon in them, so we're testing and evaluating what things should be open and not open. So yeah. obviously, vehicle systems, navigation, these things will be open to the driver. I don't think we'll allow them to check their Facebook status whilst driving. Or change their Facebook or status. Or change their status. So yeah. I've, I've now reached this in the city. Yeah. So there will be lockout protocols in place. Yeah, okay, so but that makes will, more sense. Yeah. We will use voice. Yeah. And we hope to add more and more functionality to voice as we progress into the next generation of vehicles. Yeah, okay. Obviously, we have the Sob Newsroom online. And again, this is a customer relationship management tool, which allows us to 
interact directly with our customers in the vehicle. Yeah. So in terms of offers, in terms of news, for example, here you see we're we're coming with a new 95 Sport Combi in Geneva, course. and we yep. can put the news out there as it happens directly. Yep. And you have all the feedback and, and push content out there. Yep. And, and also, if you need to find a dealer, you'll have the dealer address, which will directly link in to your navigation yeah, system. Yeah, nav you, yeah. And you can find your dealer. So you could even um, promote sort of location-based uh, special offers or things like that so you know local content for yeah. example if the Swiss guys have a special deal during the Geneva Auto Show yeah or if it's even just around the Geneva area we can push that out to sub customers in the yeah, Geneva area in that area so they can come out and get 10 bucks off an oil change or whatever exactly. it is come yeah. in for a car wash and we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll look at your car yep and you can update it on your Facebook account I'm at my dealer <laughs> yeah exactly yeah and, and we've seen in research that there are actually people that that are discounting cars because they're not connected. Mm. And markets like Japan, China, uh, there's a young generation coming out now that want to stay connected all the time. Yeah. And they can stay connected on a tram or on a bus. Yeah. But they can't stay connected in a car. In the car. But while standing still in a traffic jam in Shanghai, they could update their status or yeah. keep interacting with their friends. And so the internet connection from the car, basically, you have to, you would have to go to your ISP and or you know how does that work? Uh, that's one of the areas that we still haven't. Obviously, this is early stages, but yeah. we, you could have an embedded unit in the vehicle right. that would connect you uh, either through th 3G or 4G, yeah. or in Japan, they have a different setup, or, or in the US. And basically, what we're looking at is uh, when you purchase a vehicle, you then also get a subscription. Yeah. Uh, and we're looking at if it's a, a one-time buy that gets yeah. you access to the applications. Uh, we don't want the customer to have to get another broadband account with flat yeah. rate and all this kind of stuff. So yeah, yeah. that's something that we, we will work out with our providers before we go to market. Yeah, okay. And what about in terms of syncing with the owner's smartphone? So, you know, integration with Bluetooth and all that sort of thing. Is that, that all happens automatically just like in a normal car? Yeah, like it, it just does like in the a car normal now. car. Yeah. Uh, through the Bluetooth protocol. And we hope to add functionality to the interface, but you'll have hands-free calling, Bluetooth yeah. interface through this and you can stream your you will be able to stream music stream music yeah okay uh, either from rather your than connecting uh, if you have your if you have your iPod or, or iPhone yeah. uh, and use uh, the interface there if you want to stream it rather than connecting uh, and then you can also stream music through here because we are right. looking at working with Spotify or Pandora for example yeah. these are two partners that we'd be interested to to talk to to yep. stream music into the vehicle because right. that's really something that um, you want good music in the vehicle or radio content, talk radio yeah. content, for example. Yeah. And these are these are aspects that we're looking at. So the car becomes essentially a giant rolling smartphone, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Excellent. Who would have thought those two technologies <laughs> would emerge so closely? <laughs> Oops. Let's see. Uh, I'll scrub forward again. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's um, okay. And then the, the other thing then is, as you were saying, this becomes a command center for the vehicle. Mm. Uh, and here we're looking at how many layers we have, because you don't want to have the menus too deep and run into the iDrive problem. Yeah, yeah. So again, the, the, the cars that are beta testing in Trollhat, then you can see here that you have the, the vehicle settings. There you have Bluetooth, uh, internet connectivity. These are, these are the menu settings uh, yeah. that, that you look at. And obviously you get feedback through the screen. Here you can go in and check all the safety systems that you have, right, enable, yeah. disable. Uh, for example, we wouldn't perhaps have a sport button. You would have a, sta a knob here that you could yeah. twist and turn on the screen instead. Okay. Would there be scope for um, some sort of sort of engine performance type, um, you know, fault fault diagnosis type stuff? Um, In the future, yes. I yep. mean, that, that's the. If you look at what the end game, what the end game will be, remote diagnostics. Yes, we we, we want to have that. Yeah. Uh, also. You could perhaps have an application if you're driving to the south of France yep. or Germany. You could download a tuning kit. Right. So for a month, I have 30 extra horsepower. Yeah. And that wouldn't damage the vehicle or harm emissions. And then after that month, the, the subscription would end. You could okay. either renew it or or, or or keep subscribing. I think a lot of people would like that. Yeah. I think so too. So yeah. It's there. There are almost too many possibilities with Icon. We were taking it step by step, and, and, and we really the feedback that we've been getting here from journalists has been fantastic. So I think we're onto something. The feedback on the website's been fantastic too. Instantaneous, cool. you know, 98%. There's a few Apple diehards who are like, ah! <laughs> but you know, yeah, 98% over the moon. So it's, the, yeah. the Apple diehards would be happy about me showing an Android on system on, on an, an iPad. iPad. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you very much for that. It thank looks you. fantastic. I can't wait. And, the, and this is going to be an option on the next generation of the 9.3 or will yeah. be standard? It'll be an option. Uh, all the, the screens will be standard, uh, yep. but we're looking at uh, 
how we can spread connectivity across the world at the same time. Right. So the connectivity issue is something that hopefully we can have all markets from start, but that's not something I can promise here, yeah. here today. So 18 months from now, basically. Awesome. We're getting there. That is awesome. <laughs> all right, you're a champion. Thank you very much. Thanks, Steve. All right.